Indian Geography Lesson 3 Let's get started. Alright, so in the last video, we studied that Indian subcontinent can be divided into six physical divisions, namely the Great Himalayan Range, the Great Peninsular Plative, the Great Northern Plains, the Coastal Plains, the Island Groups and the Great Indian Desert. So in this video, we will be studying about the Great Himalayan Range. Alright. Physical Division of India So as we know, Indian subcontinent is divided into six physical division. So you, you can see through the map, the first one is the Great Himalayan Range which is above in the north side. Second one is in the pink shade which is uh, the Great Peninsular Plateau. The green one is the Great Northern Plains. The coastal plains is fourth one which is the coastline of India. Fifth one is the Great Indian Desert, which is at Rajasthan side. And then sixth, we have the island groups, that is Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep. So these were the physical divisions of India. The Great Himalayan Range. The Himalaya, the highest mountain wall of the world, are situated on the northern boundary of India like an arc. Himalayas are formed over Tethys seas due to intercontinental collision. What does that mean? So you can take it as there was an intercontinental collision between the Indian plate and Eurasian plate. So there were two plates. Indian plate was separate from the uh, Asia. So Indian plate got collided with the Eurasian plate. Uh, there was an intercontinental continental collision between these two plates. Which two plates? Indian plate and Eurasian plate. Over the Tethys seas. Alright. Which led to the formation of Himalayas and it happened around 50 million years ago. And that's how Himalayas were formed. Alright. So, from west to east, the Himalayas are 2500 km long. The average breadth of Himalayas is between 250 to 400 kilometers. Alright. Now next we have division of Himalayas. So Himalayas can be divided into four groups. The Great Himalayas also called as Himadris. Lesser Himalayas also called as Himachal Himalayas. The Outer Himalayas also called as Shivaliks. And then comes the Trans Himalayas. So you can see the down line is Shivaliks, the Outer Himalayas. In between, Lesser Himalayas, which is also known as Himachal. Above that, we have Great Himalayas. And above the Great Himalayas is called the Trans Himalayas. About all this, we will be studying now. Alright, so first one is Great Himalayas, also called as Himadris. So, it is the northern part of Himalayas. It includes Mount Everest. Mount Everest is in Nepal. It's not in India. And Ganga River also originate from this range. From where? From Great Himalayas. Where is Great Himalayas? It is below Trans Himalayas. First one is Trans Himalayas. After that comes Great Himalayas. Mountain Pass. What does a mountain pass refer to? A mountain pass is a navigable route through a mountain range or a ridge. When two mountains are there, in between a route is formed. So that route is known as mountain pass. So there are so many mountain passes which are formed in Great Himalayas. So let's see what are these major passes of India which are present in Great Himalayas or Himadri. So we know what is passes. Mountain passes is something which forms route between two mountains and the routes it connects. It starts from one state, one country and then it gets connected to different country or the same country. So a route is formed, right? So let's see the pass and where it connects to. So first we have Karakoram which is in Jammu Kashmir and it connects to China. Next Zozila it's in Jammu Kashmir and connects to Leh. Next is Buzil it's also in Jammu Kashmir and connects to Central Asia. Next is Shipki La which is in Himachal Pradesh and it connects to China. Next one Yang Yap, which is in Arunachal Pradesh and it connects to China. Next, Jalipla, which is in which is in Sikkim and it connects to 
China. So these were the major passes of India, of Great Himalayas. Okay. Now next we have major mountain peaks of Great Himalayas or Himadris. So we will study about the major peaks and where and their location. So Kanchenjunga, it's the peak which is in Sikkim. Then Nanga Parbat, which is in Jammu Kashmir. Nanda Devi, it's in Uttarakhand. Kamit, which is in Uttarakhand. Makalu is in Nepal. Mansalu in Nepal. And Dolagiri is in Nepal. So these were the major peaks, major mountain peaks of Great Himalayas, also called as Himadri. So these is all about Great Himalayas. So now next we have Lesser Himalayas. Where are Lesser Himalayas? They are below Great Himalayas. So the Lesser Himalayas also also called as Middle or Himachal Himalayas. Tourist centers like Shimla, Masuri, Darjeeling and Nainital are situated in this range. The Lesser Himalayas are divided into five ranges from west to east. You can see in the given diagram one from west it's one two three four up to east that is fifth one so let's see what are these five ranges first one is Pir Panjal which is in Jammu Kashmir second one is Dauladhar which is in Himachal Pradesh third is Masuri which is in Uttarakhand fourth is Naktibba which is in Uttarakhand and fifth one is Mahabharat which is in Nepal. So these were the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ranges from west to east of Lesser Himalayas. Alright, so the average height of Lesser Himalayas is 3500 to 4500 meter and breadth is 60 to 80 kilometers. Alright, now let's see major passes of Lesser Himalayas. So passes, you know what is passes and it's a route. So passes and where they are present. State. So first is Pir Panjal Pass which is in Jammu and Kashmir. Rotang Pass it's in Himachal Pradesh and Banihal Pass it's in Jammu and Kashmir. Alright. Now next we have Outer Himalayas also known as Shivaliks. So you can see in the diagram Great Himalayas then come lesser Himalayas and after that the last one is Shivaliks or outer Himalayas. So the outer Himalayas are also called as foothills of Himalayas. The average height of outer Himalayas are 900 to 1200 meters and breadth is 10 to 50 kilometers. Now you can see above the great Himalayas are the trans Himalayas. So the trans Himalayas lie to the north of Himadri. Himadri is Great Himalayas, also known as Tibet Himalayas. So Trans Himalayas are also known as Tibet Himalayas. There are three major ranges in Trans Himalayas. What are these? Zaskar, Karakoram and Ladakh are the three major ranges in Trans Himalayas. This range is spread to the northeast Pakistan, Nadan Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh and Tibet. Alright, now let's have a look at highest peaks in the world. So first we have Mount Everest. Its height is 8848 meter and it's located in Nepal. Next we have K2. Its height is 8611 meter and its location is in between Pakistan and China. Next is Kanchenjunga. Height is 8586 meter and it's located in India, Sikkim. Alright, so Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world and Kanchenjunga, which is in Sikkim, is the highest peak in India. Let's see some important points about Mount Everest. Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world, lies in Nepal. Height of Mount Everest is 8,849 meter. Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Nogi were the first to scale Mount Everest in 1953. It's very important. Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norway, first people, first person who have scaled, who has reached the highest peak, Mount Everest, when in 1953. Alright, 
first indian woman to scale mount everest was bachendri pal when in 1984 very important all right then so that is it about the great himalayan range and in the next video we will be learning about the great peninsular plateau until then go and watch the previous geography videos if you haven't already and do not forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching